Hi, welcome to another segment of Viva La Vegan Cooking Class. I'm Jan. Kyra and her boys are off at an amusement park today, so I thought I'd talk about quinoa. She loves it too, but um, if you've never tried quinoa, you need to do that. It's a treat. Uh, quinoa is an ancient South American grain that's been a staple down there forever. It's not really a grain, it's a seed, so it's gluten-free. Uh, it's it's high in protein and it's a great, great item to have in your pantry. It looks like this. It's tiny little balls, very cute stuff. Comes in a variety of colors. Mostly it's this light color white, but you can find it in red or black. Um, at Costco, it comes in a large bag for a really good price. Look for it. Quinoa is naturally covered with something called saponin, which is a soapy substance that is naturally designed to keep insects away. However, it doesn't taste very good. So you need some kind of sieve, um, something that the quinoa won't fall through when you're rinsing it. And then um, I like to just pour it in and uh, use the spray attachment to my thing to get it washed. If you don't have all this, you can you can put it in a kettle or a bowl and fill it up and pour it out with you know something to hold it from coming out. Um, quinoa is easy to cook, but it's also easy to overcook. And here are a couple of secrets for you: use twice as much water as quinoa. It's just like rice, and it um, takes mere 15 minutes to cook plus five minutes to sit. So put the quinoa in a kettle on your stove and boil it just uh, so it doesn't overflow, but boil it for 15 minutes uncovered. If you cover it, you're going to get mushy quinoa, so make sure it's uncovered. And then after the 15 minutes, put a lid on it and take it off the heat. Set your timer for five minutes and then it's done. After you take it, uh, the lid off, you can fluff it with a fork and use it in your recipes. You can use veggie broth to cook it in if you want to give it a little bit richer flavor, or you can use water. So, uh, cook it for breakfast in the morning, cook it for salads, hot dishes, and cold dishes. I happen to have one here that's a cold dish that we took on a picnic. And this is our delectable quinoa corn basil salad, which is wonderful. Just ask the cameraman, he'll tell you. It's right? great. Um, we're, we'll be posting a bunch of recipes for some quinoa ideas for you. That's another installment of our Viva La Vegan cooking class. Have a good day.